Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. So in today's video, I want to talk about some of the things you should bring with you to South Korea if you're planning to come here long term. Keyword long term. So if you're planning to stay in Korea for at least a year, if not more, then this is the list for you. Now, this list is based on my subjective opinion as a female and my experience as working as a teacher, but I still think that this list might be applicable to a demographic outside of these two categories. So hopefully this video helps you and please keep watching and without further ado, let's get straight into it. So on number one is a category which is brands. So there are some of my favorite brands from United States of America which are just not available in South Korea. So this time around when I visited back home in summer 2020, I went back to Canada. I did a massive haul of all of my favorite brands, Bath & Body Works, and just brought them back with me. Bath & Body Works was one of them. It is like my, you know, go-to for skincare, body care, I mean body care really. And yeah, I probably brought back at least five kilograms of Bath & Body Works with me. I kid you not, I'm crazy. Anywho, on number two is sizes. So, you know, Korean sizes generally do tend to um, run uh, based on the Korean average size. So if you are on the plus size side or the bigger side, then you might have um, issues finding the right size. So I would recommend, you know, just looking up if your sizes are available or not and packing accordingly so yeah that's all i can say on that on number three is food so i'm a vegetarian and a vegan and i also follow an indian vegetarian vegan diet most of the times so now i can order gro indian groceries online which is you know got like it it is wonderful that in south korea which is heavily a meat based society i can still order a lot of indian groceries so it's not a big deal but there are just some key things that are still not available over here which i miss and i brought back with me now um one of my favorites was craft dinner macaroni and cheese I cannot believe that I missed this. It is crap, it tastes like cardboard, but it b reminds me of home. So I brought back with me Kraft mac and cheese, which is not Indian either, but it's vegetarian. Okay, I'm rambling at this point. So long story short, your favorite snacks, your favorite foods, or your, you know, based um, anything based on any dietary restrictions, make sure you bring it with you if it is not available in Korea or it is hard to find. Anywho, uh, number four, impossible makeup. So for me, finding my shade of foundation and concealer is easy if i go to sephora in seoul but outside of it it is kind of impossible and you know if they do carry darker sh um, shades if you know um what is it called olive young yes so olive young is kind of like korea sephora kind of i wouldn't say really it's not really similar but it you can buy makeup there the darkest shade that is available is a shade that's just one shade lighter than the one that I use. So, if you wear makeup or if you use skincare and if it, it's just not available here, whether it be a brand or a certain shade or a, a certain palette, whatever it may be, just look into it and bring that with you. Anywho, uh, number five is deodorant so koreans do not sweat so yeah they don't use deodorant now it is available in korea but the options are limited and it is pricey and you don't really get um a lot of options even in just not in terms of brands but also in terms of scents so again if you use deodorant please do pack that with you 
Uh, number six is basic clothes. So as I said, sizing is an issue. Now I can generally find most sizes for me, but I have issues with finding the basic stuff like, you know, the basic um, black and white tees or tank tops, uh, yada, yada, yada. And it's not even the sizing that's an issue for me. For me, the issue is I just don't like the quality. And I wouldn't say it's bad quality, it's just that I'm not used to it. I'm just not used to, to the way that it's made over here. So again, when I went back home, I packed up on some basic uh, clothing like tank tops and camisoles and um, plain old t-shirts. So yeah, basic clothes. Okay, on number seven, very important. So let's just say it is an adapter. So when I was in Ulsan, I had such a hard time finding an adapter, which, you know, where you can use your North American plug and put it in the ad adapter and then, you know, use it in the Korean, what is it called? So, wall socket? Dude, I am having a moment here. But long story short, I had such a hard time finding an adapter that I actually had to go out and buy myself a full out laptop charger because I just couldn't find the adapter and the time when I found the adapter was two months later when I was traveling from Korea to Japan and guess where did I find it? I found it at the airport of all places. Not at the dollar store, not at the supermarket, not at the electronics store, no. I found an international adapter that changes the US or Canadian system to the Korean system at the airport for eight bucks. The price was not an issue, but the fact that it was so hard to find definitely was. Anyway, again, I'm rambling. So now we are on number eight. So definitely bring your electronics like your phone, iPad or tablet, laptop all of that good stuff it is if it is in good working condition and if you think you will need it why are you leaving it back home just bring it with you that's kind of an obvious one right right anywho on number nine is documents very important so if you're coming here long term make sure not only do you have all of your documents both in original format or original copies but like also photocopies and i personally because i'm a paranoid individual i photocopy you know um three extra copies of the original copies and then i stuff them in different bags so just in case if i lose one set i already have three more sets in three different bags. So I would recommend it. I've never had to use it, but I still do it because yeah, why not? It doesn't cost that much. Anywho, moving on to number 10. I can never say this word. Oops, I dropped my camera shutter. But anyway, on number 10 is a word I cannot say. So bear with me. Memoro, memoro, memo, memories? Memorial, memorial. So, what I'm trying to say is bring stuff with you which it brings you good memories. So, it could be photos or um, gifts or whatever it may be. Memoriables, memoriables, memoriables. You know what I mean. I cannot say it. But yeah, bring stuff with you that brings you happy memories to, you know, remind you of family and friends because that will definitely make you feel less homesick so yeah anywho on number 11 this i think is specific for teachers so you know figure out if at your school you are allowed to give gifts or rewards to your students and if you are i would recommend that you buy prepare a little bit of your home country's um, stuff because like pencils or you know stationery candy whatever it may be because that is going to be what's the word I'm looking for a bit interesting for students as you are their new teacher you can teach them about your country 
and they'll be fascinated by all of that so yeah i hope i'm making sense anywho on number 12 and why am i doing seven okay on number 12 is please bring enough money with you i'm not too sure about students and um and and other um uh job paths but for teachers very likely you will not be paid for two months and that all depends on when your visa is approved and when you get your korean id card well not korean id card but like okay i'm not gonna get into the technicalities but as I said, very likely that you might not be paid for two months and you will need um, money to sustain you for that long. So make sure you have enough money to last you two months. And what do you need to spend? And like, what, what are your costs in th these two months? Groceries, utilities, um, if you're traveling, going out with coworkers, friends, etc. So yeah, you will need a a tiny bit of money. I would recommend $2,000. Anywho, that's about it. Um, forgive me for my rambliness. It is midnight. I came back from work and after that, it is very hard for me to focus. Anywho, I hope this video helps you. Bye for now. See you in the next one.